Hi, I'm Amy Shannon, and this is another video episode of um, Exposed uh, Mobility Access Denied. And I wanted to talk about um, safety this time. It's um, a growing concern of, of mine. Um, when I like to go out, um, I live in Malta and I'm on, in an apartment complex um, on Route 9 um, in Malta. Um, when I want to go out um, and not stay on this side of the road, um, like I want to cross the street to say either go to the bank, go to the grocery store, that there's a uh, plaza across the street, um, which you've probably seen with my other videos when I've, um, you know, gone to the market by myself. Um, and one thing that happens that it happens more often than not, um, when I get to the intersection where there's a, a light and it's on the corner where um, CVS and then you would cross the street to, there's a Berkshire Bank and then you could follow the driveway down to the Market 32 Plaza, or you could cross the street and continue down, say, if you want to go to the bank or you wanted to go to um, something on the other side of Dunning Street, um, where you could go to McDonald's, or Dunkin' Donuts, um, you could go to, there you have a nice diner in the corner called the Ugly Rooster. Um, any of these Places that I'm mentioning, um, I'm just mentioning because they're there, not because I am not being sponsored by anybody. I, um, everything that I'm doing is for myself and also for other persons, whether they're mobility impaired or not. Um, you can be uh, temporarily mobility impaired um, or like with this video is going to show uh, safety um, and the lack thereof. And that's not caused by anybody except for drivers themselves in this particular situation. I have um, several times gone to the market and when I'm crossing to get across the street, I'll have the, um, the walk sign across the street saying it's okay to go and people that are turning from the market 32 plaza and have to cross over onto the side to go north um if i'm crossing there has been a few times when several times when the car will just keep going hopefully hoping i don't know not to run me over i'm hoping that um you know, to cut in front of me because they're in such a hurry to get out on, on Route 9 and go wherever they're going. Um, I've had instances where I came probably two inches or, or so, not more than, uh, actually less than a foot, I should say, where I had to stop quick because the car cut in front of me. And if I had kept going, I would have hit the car um, and I've been, um, when I've been streaming, um, watching uh, movies and such, I've seen this advertisement um, a few times about, um, I guess it's for public safety, about pedestrians having the right of way, especially in a crosswalk, but they have the right of way where there's before jaywalk not can't just run somebody over because they're jaywalking. Um, and that kind of uh, has stuck in my head because so there have been so many times since I have lived here and had my scooter um, or my wheelchair. Usually it's my scooter if I'm going to the market um, because I have baskets and bags and it's easier to shop with that. Um, but close calls. Um, a while back, um, when it first started happening, and it was before I had my camera, um, 
So now I bring my camera wherever I, uh, pretty much wherever I go out on my own um, to show people exactly what is going on. So uh, I'm putting a compilation of videos together um, and it, you know, some will be part of other videos because I was filming for another segment and these happened. Um, and one thing I can say is that there was a, um, there are times when I cross the street that, you know, there's no, nobody comes, tries to run me over, either they're pe patiently waiting or there just happens to be no cars turning at the time I'm going across the street. Also, another note is that the signals for the lights and the walk, do not walk um, things, whatever they call them, um, they don't always work, but I have, I know the traffic pattern enough um, and you can kind of figure it out if you've been there a couple of times. So you know when the walk sign is supposed to turn on if you hit the button. If you hit the button and you hear a noise, the button itself is working. Um, I've had times where it's frozen up or I press the button and everybody stops um, when I'm crossing the street. And um, but there's no walk sign, but I have to get across the street. So I'm very cautious, especially when there's that no walk sign. Um, sometimes people going south on Route 9, they may stop, but they're in a crosswalk area. So, and they can't back up if there's somebody behind them. So I have to go around them. Those, um, it, you know, that's just a little inconvenient. Um, you know. People misjudge where they're going, or they think that they're going to get the yellow light and zoom through or whatever. I don't know what's going on in their head. I used to be a driver. I used to be a good driver and also sometimes angry at other drivers' errors or stupidity when they like run out in front of you or cross in front of you. Um, and now I'm in a position like I can't drive, but I can still go places on my scooter. If it's local, uh, my scooter has a 15 mile battery length. I don't go 15 miles because there's not enough sidewalks to go that far where I live. Um, anyways, so this video uh, will show how a regular just crossing the street safe and then some other near misses um, that I have and so I'm kind of putting a compilation together. A uh, while back, I uh, wrote a letter to the editor and it got published. Um, and I have, I'll put that link in the description um, so you can see. Um, obviously, there's nothing people can do about um, drivers being impatient. Um, they don't. There's never a cop around when you need one. There, there would be nice if a police officer saw me almost get hit. Um, there was once, um, and other people noticed it. A, I was crossing the street with my scooter. A driver was coming out of the plaza across the street to cross over to the northbound lane of um, Route 9. And I had to stop quick and he stopped, but he was already in the northbound lane. His tires were still in, his back tires were still in the crosswalk. And he flipped me off while, because other drivers were beeping at him because they saw that he almost hit me. Um, and I think there was a lot of horns beeping. So I thank those people for telling him what he did was wrong and he acted like it was my fault. And all I wanted him to do was cross the street. 
I wanted to have the same option that he did to go to the market and do whatever he needed to do because that's what I was doing. So um, I'm not, um, every time I get to that intersection, I'm always nervous. And sometimes I go by, I cross, no problem. And usually um, because there's a nice person behind the wheel and they will wait for me or there's no one coming um, or needing to go at the time that I'm crossing the street. And I have found though, if my, one of my sons have come with me um, to the store, they wanna walk with me, um, no one tries to run me over. But of course, my son William is six foot five and uh, I don't think you'd wanna mess with him. And I've had people tell me when, when this first started happening, cause I had a very, um, I had a video from my phone recording it um, and it was, uh, I posted that on Facebook to, sh to show people how people are cutting in front of me and almost running me. My mobility scooter is bright red. Um, people told me you should put reflectors on it. I put reflectors on it. I have two flags on it. I have a reflective reflectable flag i have an american flag you unless you are blind you cannot miss me i'm half blind and i know where i'm going um so that's kind of i know it's a long introduction to this video but i just wanted to um say thank you for people who had um who stopped and let me cross without getting hit. Or even people that just, you know, wave me, they'll stop and they'll just wave me on. Um, and Cause a lot of times when I come to like a stop sign, I will wait to see if there's a car coming, what the car will do. Um, and probably eight times out of 10, the, the driver will stop way before the stop sign and um, wait me on. And I always wait back at least twice because I thank them for being nice. And I didn't mean that right. Anyways, so these are the videos that you are about to see. And I hope you take to heart and share with others because I'm not the only one that's, I think I have a big target on my back saying run me over. I have enough problems. I don't need to get run over. So without further ado, I'm going to add this to my videos. And of course, the link to my, um, excuse me, my letter to the editor will be in the description below. And I hope that you like and subscribe and share with others. I'm not looking to make money. I am looking to be a voice for those maybe they can't talk or they don't go out much because where are they going to go because it's too hard to go in and out of some place and I must say it's harder to go in a place than it is to come out but that's for another video so thank you